Welcome to Jackson Productions. Gone and fixed. You son of a gun! Can I have a new car? It's haggard. Yeah. Crank it. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Jack Sam Productions. Today, we're gonna to be testing the battery cells in my 2002 Toyota Prius, as well as trying to clean the bus bars and figuring out that I need to replace them. Um, yeah, so we're gonna dig into this and I'll show you guys what I did. Let's go. As you guys just saw, I got the battery casing off, oh, and so now this is the big reason why I want to do it. These batteries are known for getting corrosion on their bus bars, and I'll show you guys the other side as well. <clears throat> the other side is also not very clean. So yeah, there's also a million different pieces of hardware. Um, I'll list all the tools. All right, to go over the tools real quick. So the basic things you have to have for this is gonna be a 12 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and an eight millimeter. And also a freaking T30 Torx, apparently. There's one screw on mine that uses this. That's it. The rest of the casing, the majority of it is the 12 millimeter. And there's a few 10 millimeters. And then the eight you need for disconnecting the um, terminals <coughs> Excuse me, on the battery cells. And of course, you're gonna want a ratchet to go with it. Technically, you can do this with wrenches, but there's 76 8 millimeter nuts, so I don't recommend it. Um, but either way, rambling. You're also going to need a couple of screwdrivers, flat heads for moving clips and stuff. Please be gentle with those. <coughs> now, for all the pop clips that hold on the interior trunk stuff, I've got a whole kit that I use, but just any kind of real like plastic clip removal work. You can kind of finagle some screwdrivers and make it work, but you're probably going to break a few clips. Um, dielectric grease is a good idea to have for coating any electrical connections to make sure they don't corrode. Um, voltmeter for testing the battery cells. And then these are optional. So, because I was not about to undo all 827,000 different freaking bolts to get the cover off. So, I use that. Oh, I also used um, I also used a wire brush. Hold on, wire brush. Now, the other thing I did was remove all of the bus bars and all the nuts, and that takes forever. If you're doing this with hand, just like basic hand tools, it's planned for some time. Um, <coughs> I'm getting over a little something, but, um, <clears throat> shoot, brain fart. So I went through, I cleaned all these with a wire brush, all the terminals, and then I tested these batteries. So if you want to test them, all you got to do is just go from one side of the battery to the other. It's a, the negative and positive and they're each one's flip. So it's positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on and so forth across. So you just connect between the positive and the negative terminal of each cell 
and then that's how you test it to see if it's good or not. Oof, excuse me. All of mine tested at uh, 7.70 or higher. I think most of them were at like 7.74 to 5. So these cells are all in very, very good condition. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going to be ordering new bus bars. As you see, they're still kind of cruddy. I did my best to clean them up. They're a lot better than they were. I know I have footage of how crusty these were. Um, but yeah, I've got the back bars already laid out and ready to go. I'm about to pop these on. And then these ones are for the front side. <coughs> and for these ones, the little clips that hold them. I didn't pull those out of the car because it's a lot more in involved because there's wires connected to them. For t I believe they're for the computer to track the voltage in the batteries. I'll show you that real quick. So I went through and I cleaned each of these as well. And I also put dielectric grease on all of it. The bus bars, these wires, the term, the terminals on the batteries, all of it. Not a lot though. That's kind of an important thing. I see a lot of people that goop it on. You don't... Jeez. <coughs> You don't want to goop it on. That's not going to help you. That's going to cause you more headaches than anything. There we go. See? And these, this side's easy. They just slide on. The other side's a bit more involved just because of the wiring. So let me just put you guys down for a minute while I get this all sorted. So there's two brackets on the inside that hold the battery in place on the top. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12 millimeter bolts holding that part. Um, then right now I'm on the passenger side. There's two 10 millimeters on the top. This one is riveted into this box. You don't have to pull this box out or anything, this air vent, you can slide the casing out. And then you have one, two, three, four, five bolts mounting it down to the base plate and to the car. There's another, uh, what is it? One, there's one back down in there, bottom one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a seventh one under that panel, which this panel covers these electrical connectors and it's got a clip. Try not to break yours like I did mine. I think you like twist this or something to release it. but I busted mine. Thankfully it's got bolts that hold it on too. So it's either way, try not to break it. And then there's two 10 millimeter nuts, uh, bolts holding this on. And then there's three 10 millimeter nuts that hold this panel on top of here. These bad boys. And then <clears throat> there's also a random little 10 right here that I took off and I don't know. I don't think I even needed to, I'm not sure, but Either way, just take that one off too. And there's two more right here that go under the vent for the battery right here, which as you see, I didn't install. That has four screws that hold it down to here. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then there's also the two screw holes here. These are for these brace braces. They go from here to the top of the chassis for the back seat. And then we'll go here, get in the way of my other camera. There's another one, two, three, four, five, 12 meter, millimeter bolts here. And also, I didn't install it yet. There's another 10 millimeter that goes right here. Should be a second one, but somehow someone broke one at some point. So yeah, I gotta reinstall that here in a second. And then 
I believe there's a bracket that mounts right here as well that's on the vent tubes. Um, yeah, and that's all the hardware pretty much other than the screws. Oh yeah, and there's two more screws up here that hold the vent onto the van. But that's all the hardware. And I'm sure you guys saw in the time lapse of me doing that anyway. But I thought I'd show you guys a closer up. So for now, I'm going to go back to time lapse. And I'll cut back in when it's done or if I run into a problem. Alright, so now we just got a couple little things. I forgot to mention this earlier when I put all this together. Um, there's two other plugs you have to undo to get this vent out. Um, they unclip from the bracket and unclip, you know, you just unplug them and stuff. And then you pull this out of the way. Um, <clears throat> and now everything is, all the mechanical bits are tightened up. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook it all back up and see what happens. Let's put this bad boy back in. Well, nothing exploded. Not dead or anything. So now. Let's connect the regular battery again. Now I'm not tightening this all the way. I'm doing this just for testing. So we're gonna jump in now. Not that I don't trust my work, but you know, stuff happens. So so far so good. Check engine light. Oh, well, I have, don't have the turn on yet. There we go. Perfect. So, I don't know how good you guys can see this. By the way, my screen is jacked. See the flickering? I gotta figure out how to fix that one of these days. And check engine lights. Sweet. So, she functions. Well. Yep. Cool. No big surprise. Well, I'm going to switch back to time lapse then, put it all together, and I guess that's it. That's it. The car's all back together. Everything's working. Um, as you saw, my battery tested all good. Uh, I hope the footage isn't too jumpy. Um, I've been having issues with the cameras. I haven't filmed the video in a while, so it's, you know. But if anyone's followed my channel, you know I'm really bad at that anyway. But <clears throat> I'm rambling again. So the car works. You're going to definitely see more about this stuff. And anyone who's watching this and has been keeping track of my other videos, waiting for stuff to come out. I'm getting stuff filmed and out as fast as I can. Well, now I am. I haven't been, I'll be honest. But either way, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing's going to be big. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which is, I think, doable. Asking a lot, but doable. So if you're watching this, if you could help me out with that, I'd appreciate it. Only if you want to watch the videos, though. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'm going to shut. I'm going to shut up and... Go drive this around for a minute and make sure I didn't screw anything up. If I did, you'll see me again in a second.